family of seven is recovering after what they describe as a near death experience, getting carbon monoxide poisoning inside their home. Everyone survived, but the high levels Wednesday night could have been deadly. New at 6 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez talked to the family about the frantic, fearful moments. Matt Bowser thought he was watching his family die. Professionals that do this for a living say at those levels, we should all be dead. One daughter just happened to still be awake at 1130, working on homework. She went to tell her parents that she had a headache, blurred vision, and nausea. It was really scary. I didn't know what was going on. If she hadn't been awake, they fear none of them would have survived. Another daughter became lightheaded and fell down the stairs. I should have been dead. Like, there's no way somebody should have lived through that. And I saw her laying at the bottom of the steps. I thought she was dead. The chaos continued. Matt's wife, Tiffany, was bleeding unconscious in the bathroom. EMS crews got there within minutes. Family members think they were minutes away from dying. And it hit me then, and it's just like, how did we not die? How did we not die? This is something you'll never forget. I mean, it, and it puts in perspective. You can't smell carbon monoxide. You can't see it. Many non-electric appliances can cause the problem. This is the boiler that malfunctioned. Bowser is a chief deputy with the Allegheny um, County Sheriff's Office. Even he didn't have detectors in his house. Now they have seven, and they're urging everyone else to get them. Because you can't detect it, it's, it's enormously dangerous. People sit in their house, they start to feel bad. They may feel like they have a flu, headache dry mouth, things like that. The dog has officially got his first Easter candy. He ate Cole's Easter Bunny. The family is recovering today. Was it scary being in the hospital? Yeah, really scary. But the Easter Bunny came and saw you. Yeah, that made it a little better. They're thankful to have been able to celebrate the holiday. In Covington, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.